Hello, warriors. Now, welcome back to your English reading plan. Okay, we have uh, read seven, six, seven pages of our English textbook for first chapter. Right now, we are going to in this class, we are going to complete the first unit of our textbook. Okay, now before going on, be ready with your textbook, notebook, and pencil. Now, let us see what are the norms of the class. What is the first norm, warrior? Listen. Whenever Didi asks us to listen, we'll be listening. And second norm, whenever Didi asks us to take notes, we'll be taking notes. And what is the third norm? Whenever Didi asks us to pause or whenever you see the pause on the screen, you'll be pausing the screen and following instructions given by Didi. And for your simplification, Didi is using some flip arts. Yeah, whenever you see an ear on the screen, you have to listen. Whenever you see a paper and pencil, you have to take notes. Whenever you see a pause button, this one red one with pause one, we have to pause the screen and follow instructions given by B. Okay, now let us quickly recall what was our objective warriors for this chapter. We will identify the events of the story by making predictions. You have already taken notes of this. If, it, if you have already taken, that's great. If you do, did not take the notes of this, just pause your screen and note down this in your notebook. We will identify the events of the story by making predictions. Okay. Now let us see what are the quickly device. We have already seen this, right? Let us quickly device what are events. Events. What are events warriors? Birthday parties, pale trips, marriages, festivals, all these are events. Events means something important that happens at a place or time in the story. These are called as events. Now let us see what are examples, parties, picnics, okay, marriages, festivals, all these are events. Any happening. That is important, okay? Birthday is important, right? Marriage is important. Festivals are important. All these are important. Such important things are called as events, okay? Now, let us see what are making predictions for you. We have seen in the previous classes, right? Predictions. Making predictions means taking guesses. But, yeah, what are the three stages uh, in making predictions? Before reading. Before reading, just by looking at the title and also the images. And during reading, during reading, we will be stopping after a paragraph or a page, right? And then we will be guessing what will happen next. And what is the third step after reading? Once we have read that, we will be just confirming whether our guess was right. If it is else, then we will be confirming. No means we have to adjust our guess, okay? These are the three things we are going to do while making predictions. And what are making predictions for us? Predictions mean taking guess, okay? using text or picture or clues okay text or picture clues to help you by taking clues from the text or picture and then we will be guessing what will happen next for example and what uh, apple and all we have seen right examples what is the sentence starter warriors i think dash because dash whenever in english someone asks a question we always reply them in a sentence when they, someone asks you to make a guess or prediction we reply by saying I think dash because dash. Great warrior. Now let us uh, quickly revise the. This we have already revised it, right? Yes. Now let us quickly revise the story. Okay, we'll summarize the story. So, for what happened, we have seen that Hari was Hari is a very naughty boy and he always loves to pinch and hurt others, right? Pinch and prick others. Other students used to get scared of Hari. And you can see that this figure, right? We have already. So this figure, we have already seen this figure and we answered some question and made some predictions. Then one day, one fine day, all the school went to a picnic to the seaside, okay? Then we have seen that Hari was sitting alone while others were enjoying and all. Then Hari was feeling very alone and he felt angry. He didn't feel sad, but he felt angry. And then he went to a uh, rocky poolside and then he started having his lunch right he had so many uh, so much wow he was having a beautiful lunch right beautiful like called you delicious lunch right yeah he was having a delicious lunch then someone uh, with a false voice and uh, called out hurry now let us see what will happen next before that let us quickly revise our vocabulary also what is this thing warriors grooves we are you i a c grooves enjoyed by blow to the body and what is the second word prick the king means a small hole made by pointed objects pointed in and this is the word which we have learned in the last class can someone tell me warriors yes it is isolated isolated means a lonely place and yeah and this what is this word warriors force means force rough voice okay 
yeah now what we are going to learn another two new words in this class what is this what can you see in the picture warriors what is uh, the person in the picture pointing to you yes that is a bruise right but you can also see the bruise is in yeah it is in black and blue you know it is called a black and blue these are the things like which don't really mean black and blue means it doesn't mean a black and blue color okay this has some hidden meaning these words are called as idioms okay you must be knowing this phrase idioms black and blue mean badly bruised bruised means yeah we know that getting hurt is called bruise when we are getting badly hurt okay badly bruised then there will be some color on our own right it is called a black and blue okay it is called black and blue black b l a k black and blue okay this is called as idiom i d i o m this is called as idiom warriors it is called as wait let me type this idiom i d i o m yum idiom okay next sorry wait let me it will start yeah next is what are this picture warriors yes it's a crab right what is what do we call this in telugu it's a crab right we find this in seashore and all you can see the crab is having very pointed right very pointed this thing right these are called as pincers you know pincers means they gripping tool okay it's like way which we use to hold things together with grip grip you know right to catch something tightly right grip With that, we'll be pinching, right? For example, our nails will grip us, right? Our fingers have this uh, nails, and we'll be gripping someone, right? Similarly, crab has these things called as pincers. Okay, even we also have some gripping tools in the kitchen and all, right? To hold things, to be, to have a grip of things. Now, now we have seen like so while uh, Hari was having his uh, lunch, he saw someone calling him out in hot water. Now let us see what happens. What do you see in the picture, warriors? Take a minute, yeah, to to observe the picture. I'll just start the countdown. Once you are done, you can start playing the video. Five, four, three, two, one, Z E R zero. zero. Yeah. Now I guess you have observed the picture very clearly. Now let us answer some questions. Okay. Yes. First question is, what do you see in the picture? Now think of the answer, warriors. How you will be answering in English? You will be always using a complete sentence. I see dash in the picture. Now just tell me, what do you see in the picture, warriors? I can see a crab, right? I can see crab. I can see Hari. H Hari H is always capital, right? Hari crab. And what is this called as lobster? It is called as lobster in the picture. And also I can see is crab, right? This is crab, right? This one is crab. Crab is what is this called as? Just now we have seen this word, right? Yeah, pricking. Yeah, crab is pricking hurry. That also you can say crab is pricking hurry. This is what is the pincers. Okay, with its pincers, crab is pricking Hari with its pincer, and Hari is feeling very, yeah, he is very feeling very afraid or sad. Yeah. Now let us see the next question. Boy, write this answer in your own words in your notebook and send me the WhatsApp picture. Now, where do you think crab came from? How are we going to answer this, warriors, in a sentence? How we'll start the sentence? I think crab came from. Dash. Now answer this question, warriors. Try to write this in your notebook. Yes, I think crab came from the pool or seaside, right? This is where from crab came, right? You can see a water, right? Crab. Where does crab live? Crab live in sea, right? So yeah, I think crab came from pool or seaside. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Well done. Now let us see the next question, warriors. What do you think is happening? We have already answered this, right? What do you think is happening? I think crab is freaking hurry. Okay. And why do you think? Because you saw in the picture. Any reason? If you want, you can just add the fill in the blank. Okay. I think crab is freaking hurry. 
because or something you if you have a reason you can add okay yeah just write the answer and send me on whatsapp if you want to pause this question you can just pause your screen and write the answer and then start playing the video now let us see what happens next in the story Harry saw a monster crab walking sideways out of the pool. His eyes were on the ends of the short stalks, and he looked most unusual. He held out his front claw to Harry. Harry put out his hand to shake the crab's claw. Harry put out his hand to shake the crab's claw. But to his surprise and anger, the crab opened his pincers and nipped his hand so hard that little boy fell. Let Let me read this again, warriors. Harry saw a monster crab walking sideways out of the pool. Uh, Harry, it seems that Harry saw a monster crab walking out of the pool. We are now got the answer from where the crab came, right? His eyes were on the ends of the short stalks, and he looked most unusual. Okay, his eyes were on the ends of the short stalks. Okay, and he looked most unusual. It means he is not looking as usual. Okay, he held out his front claw to Harry. As soon as he came, he or he, who is he, warrior? Yeah, he means crab. Okay, Harry saw a monster crab, and his eyes were on the ends of the star, short stars, and he looked most unusual. As soon as he came out, the crab, you know what they did do? It extended. He held out his front claw to Harry. Front claw means the front hand to the Harry. Harry put out his hand to shake the crab's claw. But to his surprise and anger, the crab opened his pincers and nipped his hand so hard that the boy fell. Now, uh, what happened? As well, something uh, pincers or someone something touches us will shake our hands, right? Harry also put out his hand to shake the crab's claw. When crab was trying to catch Harry's hand, Harry shook his hand. But to his surprise and anger, the crab opened his pincers and nipped his hand so hard that the boy fell. Obviously, when we are in pain, when the crab pincers us all feels, we will feel, we will feel pain, right? So Harry also felt pain and he started shouting, yelling and shouting. Ah, oh, here is my good cousin," said the crab pleasantly. And to Harry's horror, he saw a large sandy lobster crawling heavily out of the pool. Before Harry could stop him, the lobster took his hand. And in his great pincer-like claws, and pricked it so hard that he fell in pain. Even after that, what happened? The crab pleasantly said, "Ah, oh, here is my good cousin. Cousin, you know, right? Who is cousin?" And to Harry's horror, he saw a large lobster, sandy lobster, crawling heavily out of the pool. He saw a large lobster, lobster, and it also started crawling heavily. Heavily means, yeah. When there is a large thing, you must have seen when something large walks. Okay. They walk very heavily, right? They make so much of sound, right? Before Harry could stop him, the lobster took his hand in his great pincer-like claws. Lobster also has claws, right? They are also like very like uh, gripping, right? They uh, they have also this gripping kind of claws, and it has also extended took his hand in his great pincer-like claws. It also took Harry's hand in his pincer-like claws and pricked it so hard. Prick means we know, right? Yeah. So hard that he yelled. Yell means shouted in pain. Let me read this again. Harry saw a monster crab walking sideways out of the pool. His eyes were on the ends of short stalks and looked most unusual. He held out his front claw to Harry. Harry put out his hand to shake crab's claw, but to his surprise and anger, the crab opened his pincers and nipped his hand so hard that the little boy fell. Ah, oh, here is my good cousin," said the crab pleasantly. And to Harry's horror, he saw a large, sandy lobster crawling heavily out of the pool. Before Harry could stop him, the lobster took his hand in his great pincer-like claws and pricked it so hard that he held it pain. Okay. Now let us see whether our guess was correct or wrong. Whether our guess was correct or wrong, tell me, Mom. Tell me, warriors. Yes. We made a guess that the crab was pin, pricking or pinching Harry. That was correct, and we also guess that they both came out from the pool, right? Yes. Do you think now? What is the question is more? Do you think anyone will come to help Harry? What do you think, warriors? Now, just write in your notebook the answer. I think dash because dash. This is a prediction, right? So we are. How are we going to answer? I think. If you think that someone might have come to help, you write it. Okay. If someone might no now no one had come to Harry's help, write the answer. 
okay i think dash because dash okay once you are done start playing the video till then be on pause okay yeah three two one z e r o zero i hope everyone has written their answer in your notebook now let us see what happens next hari was soon black and blue with the pinching and pricking don't you like it said the crab and lobster in surprise why we were told you would love to see us because you are a champion pincher and pricker yourself come come and join the fun now what happened hari was soon black and blue black and blue means we know right badly bruised so if someone pinches our blood also will get uh, will get clot and we get a black and blue uh, impression on our skin right yeah with the pinching they were pinching so hard with the pincer like claws right their claws were very sharp right with that pinching hari was soon black and blue don't you like it said the crab and lobster in surprise they were surprised they were saying that don't you like it because you know like we heard that you love pinching and pricking and you also champion of pincher or pricker yourself because hari also pinches everyone no so they were telling that you also be you like this right hari loves to do that right so this is fun come come join us let us have fun they were calling after that what happened let us see hari left to his feet crying loudly his lunch rolled into the pool and when the crabs and lobster saw it they ran to it and began to feast eagerly hari saw that they had forgotten him for the time being he turned and ran for his life tears streaming down his cheeks hari ran and sat near a rock thinking they only did to me what i keep doing to other children but how it hurts and how i hated those crabs and lobsters i suppose the other children hate me too i should not pinch or prick anyone in the room now let me read this again warriors hari leapt to his feet crying loudly hari as in it there is pain right so hari stood on his feet he was sitting right now he is jumped to his feet and started crying loudly then he was having his lunch right? that also fell down and rolled rolled means it went to the pool okay it started rolling on the floor and went into the pool and when the crabs and lobsters saw it they ran to eat and began to feast eagerly when crab and lobster saw it they ran to the right they had some food right they ran to eat and they started feasting me eating eagerly hari saw that they had forgotten him for the time being as soon as they are eating they forgot about hari pinching and pricking hari and hari felt okay hari saw that and then he started running for his life okay baby also ran away right when he see some danger he was streaming down his seat he was feeling very frightened he was feeling scared he was feeling pain with all this hari was crying and all the tears were streaming down and all his cheeks were filled with tears hari ran and sat near a rock thinking now he ran and he went and sat near a rock and he started thinking they only did to me what i keep doing to other children but how it hurts and how why i had hated those crabs and lobsters i suppose the other children hate me too I shall not pinch or prick anyone in the room. Now then, Hari sat near the rock and he started thinking. You know, what these crabs and lobsters, what these crab and lobsters did, and that is the thing I am doing with other kids also, right? I am doing the same thing to other children, right? I am also hurting other children, right? But how it hurts! Now he knows the pain. Till this day, he didn't know the pain of getting pinch or prick. We already saw that that children try to pinch or prick Hari, but. In turn, what Hari used to do, he used to pinch them even more harder. So children used to get scared. And how I hated those crabs and lobsters. He hated, right? Similarly, other kid, other kids also. And he now understood that other kids also hate Hari in the same way. I suppose the other children hate me too in the same way. I shall not now. Hari dis decided that I shall not pinch or prick anyone anymore. Now let us see. Was your guess correct or wrong, boys? What guess did we make? We so whether we thought whether anyone will come to help hari okay now we'll see if you have made a guess that someone would come and help then it is wrong right now we need to adjust our guess if you guess no one would come then your guess is yes and you got a confirmation for your guess now let us see the other question do you think hari has changed what do you think warriors now just take this down in your notebook and send me later Do you think Hari has changed? Now Hari has seen the what is the pain uh, of getting or being pinched or pricked, right? Now what do you think? Do you think Hari has changed? Okay, yes. And let us see what is the homework for us. Now just uh, you have the same questions like uh, we have done this passage related to 
the answer there are some questions okay what did hari see where did the cat crap from crap came from this all the things we have almost done in the class just write them and send me okay and opposite there are some opposite and there is this question where you have to categorize okay animals there are animals they can be either a sea or land right there are land, there are some animals which live in land and which live on land and there are some animals which live in the sea right for example crab lion lobster all these things you have to categorize them okay make two columns in your notebook sea animals land animals and just start writing okay whale zebra star fox starfish fox all this okay and these are some other questions related to the lesson okay why was hari black and blue why because the crab and lobster were freaking in just answer all this question and all best remember in english you are going to answer in sentence not in words you have to frame a complete sentence match the word this is match the following okay surprise what is meaning of surprise forget just match them okay and you have the opposites and this is very important thing for you what you what now you have seen in the story that hari learned a lesson right hari learned his lesson from crab and lobster and he also now came to know how other kids are feeling when he is pinching others right now hari learned a lesson and felt ashamed of his behavior okay he felt very bad that uh, he was feeling very shame of himself okay i shouldn't have behaved that, like that with my friends now what hari did hari went to ragu okay you remember ragu right he was the person whom uh, hari was pinching in the first in the beginning of this chapter so he wanted to be ragu's friend now he went to ragu and he wanted to be ragu's friend now write a possible conversation between hari and ragu okay today you just write this conversation tomorrow we'll talk about how to do the conversation right today just write what what all dialogues you can write between hari and ragu hari now goes to ragu and ask for friendship okay now just write this conversation now let us quickly recap warriors what we have seen we have seen he what is an event example and we also made predictions before during and reading and we use the sentence starter i think dash because that what are the two new words which we learned today black and blue pincers p i n c e r s pincers and now write the conversation writing this is the schedule and worksheet do the worksheets which now i have shown you and next class will be have uh, next class next video i'll be sending you by tomorrow sharp 7 am till then be happy and safe warriors thank you for listening the video patiently warriors see you bye